guys, welcome back to another foul freaking Friday. And today, as you can tell, we're rolling coal in the old diesel trucking along. And uh, we got two fills to go scout today. I think one of them's actually about 40 minutes away. I gotta get on the highway. But today, I am excited. We, we got a big feed south of town that the birds yesterday, when they went to back to roost to get a drink, they didn't go back to their regular roost. They're going back to our city park. And our city park is on the south side of town. And it holds some birds on the water, you know, as a roost overnight, sometimes. But right now, they are loading on it. I mean loading. So about 10 o'clock in the morning, in about an hour, hour and a half, they're all gonna be headed back there. And let me tell you, there's trees all around it, so when they get down, they get down, and thousands come to this place. So what I'm gonna do, I brought my camos, I brought my cold gear, I'm gonna post up and hide in the side of an evergreen. I think I found an evergreen that I can tuck back into right alongside the water, and they are gonna be doing it dirty right in my face. And I'm gonna be able to get up close, film them, we're gonna be able to listen to them, hear them, hear, you know, hear the noises. Doing this type of stuff sounds goofy as hell. And it is, it's goofy as hell, and I'm a retard. But I'm telling you what, doing it, learn, you learn a bunch. You get to see how birds work before they're wanting to land. You get to listen to them. You get to hear how they sound on water. So if you have, you know, goose decoys on water, you know, you get an idea of what they need to sound like when you're calling. Just a bunch of helpful stuff that goes into doing stupid shit like this. But I'm excited. It should be awesome. The footage should be great. If they come back to that park this morning like they should, it should be freaking awesome. But let's go check out these two fields. Let's roll. Right there. put that a day to remember song in the last video and you guys ate it up I love me some a day to remember I just seen them in concert about a month ago actually it was in October but we're at our feed we found it here it is we are far away from home we're about it's all damn near an hour away from home and we got the birds sitting right there all the way out in the middle of this field good thing is we got this north tree row that runs east and west so we will be able to hide in this tree row right here with a good north wind to our back. So, this field, there's more going down. Man, there were some big old honkers right there. We don't get them over in our little town. I don't know if you can see them behind them trees right there. But those are big birds. You see it hit the house. I don't know, there's about five to eight hundred birds sitting in this field, a little group of snows of about 30 or 40, but the rest are honkers. All of them are bigger birds. There's some lessers and cacklers in there, but they have a lot of bigger birds over here. Well, there's one field for this weekend. What's going on here on this field, guys, is uh, it's actually a perfect setup. I'm liking this setup a lot better than what we've been dealing with, and our hunt's over where we're at. We're hunting close to roost so what the problem is what's happening is our hunts were getting huge wads of birds like you guys have seen where the whole where the whole roost lifts up and literally gets to you at once and that's cool for videoing but it's it's really not cool for hunting because when you fire when you that first shot you you scare a bunch of birds away and you and you don't end up having a long nice drawn out hunt with smaller sets you know twos singles small groups just doing it for you. Over here it's different. <clears throat> What's happening is this field is a secondary field. There's a, there's a field south of this one that's a primary field and what's happening is the birds are going to the primary field first eating and then they kind of get spooky and start flying a bunch at 9 or so and 8 30 they start trickling over and feeding on this field here. So this field's a secondary field. The big wad is over here south and this one is just secondary. So what's great is instead of getting those huge wads of birds where you flare them and you scare them all off when you shoot, you get little sits at a time. You get ones, you get twos, you get sevens and tens. And uh, it just makes for a longer, 
better, funner hunt. We're gonna go look at this big feed real quick and then we're headed back to town and uh, go to the city park. So we are here at the city park and these birds are diving in here. We got ducks, we got geese. They are diving in here heavy. I'm all camoed up. It's only 17 degrees out. It's extremely cold. I don't have gloves on. I'm gonna try to sneak up. They're already pouring in here. Look at this. So let's sneak up here. This is the perfect way, guys, to check for bands and then watch where the birds are gonna go feed. So if you spot bands at a city park, track where those birds go and land. Go hunt them, because you know there's gonna be bands coming to that field. So we're gonna do some band spotting today as well. So guys, these are all new birds. These aren't city, you know, these aren't birds that have been staying here. They're not local. These are, look, here we go. If they were local, they wouldn't do that. Local birds at parks aren't scared of shit. So it tells you right there, those are, those are birds on a feed that we have permission on. So we're gonna sit here, they're gonna keep coming in, I guarantee it. We're gonna post up and check for some bands is what we're gonna do. Now these are local birds, see? See the difference? They stick around. They're not scared. Here we go. Kinda of tucked back out of the wind a little bit because it is extremely cold. Here we go, coming back. This is kind of neat. What's cool about this, guys, is you can sit here. You can really watch the geese. Listen to listen to them. Hear how they're calling. Hear how they hear what they sound like. Pay attention to how they sound, especially when they're sitting on the water when they land. When you're hunting over water, you want to mimic how they sound on water. They sound different sitting on water than they do flying, obviously. So. Videos like this I thought would be pretty cool to just learn something, you know, learn something with you guys. I'm gonna learn something too doing this because, because I for one have never sat in a park and filmed geese. All for the YouTube, all for you guys. If you guys like this crazy shit, drop a comment down below. And let me know, hook a brother up, show some love. You know I love the positive comments, guys. Here we go. Here they come. Let's spot some bands. So one thing while sitting out here like a dang hobo against a tree looking weird, hopefully people can't see me from the road. That's what I'm hoping. People will recognize my truck out there though. That's uh, but one thing to really pay attention to, they are loud, they honk a lot. Each of them are honking a bunch. These are bigger geese now, all the lessers have land. So looks like we got some bigger geese. Looks like we got some bigger geese coming now. These are all honkers but listen to how much they honk coming in. They're loud, they're noisy coming into water. So just remember that. These are not local birds. These are birds that are feeding out on a cut milo field and this is, they are piling back here all dang day. So I don't want any comments like, you, oh, you're out going, you're going out and filming city, city birds and blah, blah, blah. No, these are not city birds, these are, these are new new birds that just came with the cold front. We got a bunch of them. That's why they're doing weird shit, like landing in this park all the way into town. But they are feeding. All these birds are feeding on a cut milo field right now. That's where they're all coming from. But the good thing about this is when you find their roost, this is where they're roosting, obviously. It doesn't matter if it's a sand pit. doesn't matter if it's a park. doesn't matter if it's a farm pond. If you can sneak up on it and, and just scout it, watch them for a minute, camo up, 
get into that roost and watch them. You want to see what birds are going there. Is there a bunch of lessers? Is there a bunch of cacklers? Is there a bunch of specks? What is it? Is it, a, is it honkers? Before you go hunt the field that they're feeding on, you want to know what's coming. So you know how to set up your spread, you know what decoys to use, and you know, and you know how to call them. Look how tight them birds are on the water over there. They are tight, very, very tight. As you can see, that's a single going down right there. Doesn't matter if it's a single, look, watch this group right here. This is, this is a good tip. That's about 20 birds right there, 15, 20 birds. Look at that, landing right in the thick of it. They're not landing in the open water. They're packing tight. So a good tip to take from this, guys. It is literally 15 degrees. I mean, wind chill is probably nine. I don't even know. It is extremely cold. My hands are about to fall off. When it's cold and you got a good wind like today, it's bitter cold, they're gonna be packed tight. So remember that with your decoy spread. Pack your decoys a little tighter than usual. They're not gonna be spread out over a bunch of water. All right, I let another group land over here. I scared them up, but here's a big group. And just listen to them while they're on the water here. So it's just nice slow honks, nice steady ones. Oh, look at these. That was sweet. Those are some big honkers there. Big boys. But listen, they quiet down. When birds start coming in, they get louder. When they land, they quiet up. They get real quiet once the birds land. Those were honkers. Those obviously aren't going to land with all them lessers over there, but these are some local geese here. But like I said, nice steady clucks. Look at this group coming. See how they fire back up? They see a group coming, they, they start getting loud again. That's just a group of five coming. All the lessers start honking. All the honkers start honking when the group starts coming in. When they land, they, they get quiet. See them honkers, they're moaning a lot. Oh, oh. Them lessers, they don't land with them small geese though. Like I've always said, they, honkers do not land with lessers most of the dang time. They'll go to the same field, but they're not gonna land in the decoys with them. 22 degrees, now, right now, we've got a, I don't know, it's probably 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. So that wind chill, I'm telling you, is freaking cold. My hands are numb. I didn't have gloves. Stupid me. This is kind of a idea that I got yesterday because I scouted these birds, found the Milo field that they're at, then I wanted to see, you know, where they were going to roost. And sure enough, they were going down in town and I was outside of town. I'm like, where in the heck are they landing? So I come in here and sure enough, it's the park. All right, so right now we have a northwest wind at a... Uh, 12 mile an hour, so the wind chill makes it feel like 16. That is definitely the coldest that we've had it. This cold front is no joke. Not having my hunting gear with me in my bag, that means I don't have my gloves and my hot hands and all that stuff. And boy, you know when your hands are warming back up and it feels like needles under your fingernails? Oh my god. One thing I urge you guys, buy warm gear buy your good gloves make sure you guys have the hot hands on you i know a lot of you guys say they're cheesy and whatever a lot of you guys don't use them that i've seen i use them i love them i put them in my pockets they help keep my core warm being in my pockets and i can throw my hands in my pockets when the birds aren't coming around and when they're not working stay warm guys these low temperatures this cold front that you guys are getting like i am 
I mean, it is no joke. This saying, do not go out in the morning underprepared because you're going to suffer. I guarantee it. Bundle up. Make sure you have more layers. You can always shed them. But I'm guaranteeing you right now, with this amount of cold, you're not going to want to shed anything. So, I thought we were going to be able to spot some bands, but turns out they didn't want to get off the water while I was out there. I bumped them when I walked in, so they wanted to, they wanted to uh, stay on the water. Obviously, you're not going to see any bands when their legs are in the water. But, there's some good lessons to take from this. The calling. Your guys' is calling, our calling, my calling, I'm learning, you guys are learning. This is for you and myself. Lessers, cacklers on the water. They bunch up tight when it's really cold. When it's wind chills are going to be tight. Sit your decoys tight if you're on open water. Rule number two. You've seen when groups worked in, the, all the birds on the water got loud. When they landed, they shut off. So remember that with your calling. There's just some good tips to take from this, guys. And that's why I came out here and sat like an idiot by a tree in a city park. But I hope you guys like these videos. I really do. If you guys haven't, I know the lighting sucks right now. If you guys haven't, check out our Next Gen hoodie. They are sweet. The camo pattern is legit. And I love them. I love this thing. This is my new hunting hoodie. I'm going to be wearing it nonstop. You guys are going to see me in it. Now, I do have layers on because, like I said, it is a 16 degree wind chill. So I am layered up to the brim. But if you guys like these videos, if you like my Foul Fridays and these tips and how-to videos, drop me a thumbs up, faux show. And if you have any questions regarding decoying birds, honkers, lessers, cacklers, the difference in decoys and calling, drop your comments down below because I respond to all the positive comments, all the legit comments that you guys ask. I love communicating with you guys. But once again, guys, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala I'm living like it's no tomorrow Don't know my style, won't let you borrow You're thirsty, have a glass of water I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead I'll put my